Hello, Interwebs. Max here, and today we're going to be, I guess, throwing a punch in the fight of Destiny versus Warframe. Um, and just right off the bat, I'm going to prove that I have enough experience in both, and I've played both games throughout. Um, I would have started in Destiny and started my arguments with that, but I've actually traded in my copy of Destiny. Um, I was a day one player. Uh, as soon as it came out in September, I bought it, came home and played it for multiple hours. Um, it was a really good game when it came out. Their promise of keeping our Guardians for 10 years was an amazing, amazing promise. Um... You know, I'm a, I've been a, had a bit of an issue with them, because um, the big reason that I started playing Destiny was because they started talking about longevity and being able to continue our story f throughout possible multiple games. But as of Destiny 2 coming out, I've played that beta, I had my pre-order copy, and after playing the beta of about an hour, I actually had a little bit of a little bit of footage saved up um i deleted it and i got my money back for my pre-order um in my opinion and from what i've felt and played destiny 2 is basically just another expansion to destiny um they've added a couple new abilities and yet again there's one subclass that rules over them all and in my opinion it's always been warlock uh warlocks at the beginning were Nova Bomb and Selfres, and honestly, a nuke that can kill anything within that blast radius in one shot, and I mean anything. Doesn't matter Blessing, Defender, doesn't matter Armor, doesn't matter, um, even later on we got the, the newer subclasses, uh, if you were in Hammer and you had full armor, you were still nuked by it, there's no way to survive a Nova Bomb. There's some weird ways where if you are a warlock and you get overshield and you have uh, sun armor on or whatever the heck it's called, I haven't played in so long, and I still don't think you can even survive them. I think you just barely die. Um, Destiny in the beginning was a great, great game, and then they started coming out with expansions, and it was just one disappointment after another, and they were just reskins over reskins, and their most recent one with axis and the siva they literally just took old weapons and were like hey you know let's throw siva on them and make them new weapons with a couple of new abilities and call it a brand new expansion give them an okay raid with a bunch of crap puzzles that were needlessly complicated to complete and needed you to read binary now don't get me wrong i love i love destiny and i, I love my experience with it and i don't regret going all the way to platinum with it um, but I will not be continuing. Um, I've been playing another game, Warframe, for a bit longer than I've been playing Destiny. I've been playing Warframe for about two and a half years. I started on PC and transitioned over to console. And Warframe is what Destiny should have been. Warframe is what Destiny, what I wanted from Destiny. And what I mean by that is a map with planets that you could explore and play tons and tons of different ways. So as you can see here, we have a bit of, probably about a dozen planets. I probably sit and count them, but I'm not going to. And each planet has multitudes of different missions, and these missions change based on different circumstances. You see, this one here has a Kuva fortress floating near it right here. So we have these Kuga missions, which are farmed, and it's basically an in-game, almost the currency, level. kind of Check leveling navigation. system, um, for a new thing called Riven Mods. And we'll get to modding a little later. And things like nightmare missions and daily raid-like activities, alert missions for special drops, um, for rare weapons and stuff, you can come to the invasions to get your wraith and stuff like that weapons, kind of like your... I guess like your legendaries, not quite exotics. You can farm for your exotic weapons all day in different types of missions, and we'll get, uh, get to that next. 
this is the daily raid like activity. Every day you have three missions you can play, all different types of missions that scale the hard, the, the one, two, and three, so they scale as you can see the level. And there's modifiers. So it's like a heroic raid. And every day you get this with some crazy reward potentials. You do have some iffy rewards, but you're guaranteed a reward. I've played multitudes of raids in Destiny. I sometimes played Crota five, six times a week. I sometimes played Axis five, six times a week. And you're not getting a reward every day. This you get a reward every day because it's new every day. Now there are two raids um, in Warframe and they are infinitely more rewarding than the raids in Destiny. These give you arcanes, which further upgrades Warframes past the modding system, which we're about to get to. As well as itanes for leveling up your mods and stuff, which is how you level up your Warframes in the first place. This has so much more complexity and so much more longevity. I've been playing this game two and a half years, and I'm still a noob. I'm still learning. I'm still experiencing new things. There's a whole pet breeding system with cats and dogs and an infested worm dog thing. Mechanical sentinels. I think there's a kind of like an infested sentinel that I'm pretty sure isn't mechanical, but either way. The easiest way to get your primes, which is your exotics, is through these. And you can pick which ones you want to farm. Not just farm a bunch of random crap or open an engram and get random stuff. You have a set list of what you are going to get, and it's short. You can upgrade these to have a better chance of getting what you want. You can have multitudes of people farming the same thing, so that your other people with you are helping you farm, not just farming their own things. In-game trading allows for people to disperse their wealth. If one person gets three bad jujus that went back when bad juju was really good trading it to their friends yes it does allow new players to kind of skip the grind air quotes but there's so much depth to warframe that once you get in it it's a rabbit hole that you fall down now a lot of people are very turned off by complications and movement and different abilities and how many different warframes there are there are 30 three different warframes including primes and all of them do pretty vastly different things this is pretty much the hunter he has a, like a blade dancing ability he turns invisible he has nothing but damage dealing abilities the only difference is he's not a trade dancer when you're rushing at an enemy you don't die on the way to them trade dancing or blade dancing is an absolute joke. It was named one of the more OP subclasses, but after update, I think after year two, I hadn't been killed by a blade dancer in so long because you learned really quickly that you could outpulse them. You're looking at a Titan right here, bubble, slowing ability, defensive abilities, but he does damage with his abilities too. It's like everything that you can comprehend from one to the other, from Warframe to Destiny. Warframe has the leg up in everything. Gaming is just better with Warframe. It's a bigger, I would, maybe not bigger, but friendlier community where you have a trat that you can literally go from your clan, your alliance, your recruiting, your trading, and you can change that all the way through. You can invite friends and have a four-man friend four-man group who are running raids and run with eight. It just seems more, or it is more, geared towards friends joining friends and a social experience. You can also play this game very solo if you're not really a social person, and do very well with pretty much everything being matchmade. Um, the modding system, again, it's complex, but it, it, it's very, very good. It helps you mod each character to what you want to do. You could take the most defensive character like Frost and mod them to be a murderer. Like just max him for like things like this. So duration. Um, there, duration. So you max out the duration so his abilities last longer. More CC, more defensive abilities. And you can max out his power strength, which means his abilities do more damage. Playing... Warframe is like Destiny, only you have your supers 
all the time in a form of energy and you cast and clans aren't just some hollow sheet of paper or you know website that you can go on to every now and then it's a massive system of friends and there's a social space where everybody in your clan can group up i'm in a clan a little under a thousand people um and we all don't know each other but if i go into my clan chat and i post hey i'm looking for a specific weapon i'm going to grind it out i don't want to buy it i'll have five ten sometimes even over a hundred messages of people saying hey yeah you know what i'll help you out i'll help you out i'll help you out and that's how i leveled with people showing me the way and sometimes when i wanted to learn the way i learned the way there's cinematic quests in this that just dwarf the one cinematic quest second dream dwarfs the entire game of destiny in my opinion just because of the depth of lore that you can get into in this each warframe has their own backstory there's insane numbers of weapons like they're not just reskins of each other yes each weapon has like different variations like wraith boar vandal prime and stuff like that but on top of that they have so many different unique weapons that do very very different things they all have different damage types they all have different reload animations like it's destiny on steroids and oh, i just what i told well. you in the short Can't amount of time is just a very 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 short list of things you can do in warframe if i were to sit here and explain it to you we'd be here for 10 15 hours if not more now the leveling system i was talking about you level everything up to a cap of 30 and once it's level 30 you get experience for leveling it up um and you have a mastery rank so mastery rank is how many things you've leveled up and how far you've fair quotes progressed in the game based on how many things you have how many different things you've leveled up it doesn't really mean much you get a little bit more potential standing um per day like you get a when you get into syndicates and stuff like that um you get more potential standing per day um you get a couple extra mod slots um because mods have a pointing a point system to the numbers in the top right corner um and you have a cap if you see a top left corner their capacity there's a cap for how many you can have um you need a little bit more of that when you're unranked um Again, it's a very complex system that would take a little while to explain, but it's very easy to learn once you get into it and start doing it yourself. It maybe took me 10 minutes to figure it out. Um, now, this is a free game. I repeat, free. 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 You do not have to pay $125 for this and then pay for expansions or silver dust. The premium currency, platinum, see in top left corner there, the farthest number on the right, is obtainable through simple things like trading. And this will buy you frames, it'll buy you fashion, it'll buy you colors and all sorts of things that you can use to customize your frames. Every weapon, every warframe has potentially infinite combinations of armor because they're constantly coming out with different ones. Colors, you can color everything individually. You can color this thing that sits in your back individually from your armor. It's called a cyan donna. You can color, like you can put on sigils and paintings and stuff like that. You can hang paintings and put sculptures all over your ship. It's not just an inanimate object floating in space that acts as a loading screen. There's so much more depth to Warframe. And I urge, urge everybody to at least try Warframe out. If you stick with it for a short amount of time, I'd say 10 hours. If you can go 10 hours in Warframe and actually give it a chance, I just see what happens. You will not be disappointed. This game is pretty grindy, but if you're coming from Destiny, this grind is much more rewarding. So if you liked the video, press like. If you didn't like it, press dislike. Uh, any feedback at all, is very welcome in the comment section and uh, if you like the video and would like to see more content press subscribe and i'll see you on the next one